The, the fact is that it takes a lot of daring to walk around with this key because of the fact that the, the, the three major religions all speak against the ancient culture of the Nile, even though their prophets gained so much from contact with the Africans of the Nile. Um, we, gave them, we gave them life represented by the Yonk. When Abraham and Sarah came starving, into the Nile Valley after they went to the land of Canaan where they said that God told them that there was a land overflowing with milk and honey. Well there was no milk and honey in Canaan. Where did they come? They came into the Nile Valley. In the book of Acts um, 7 chapter 22nd verse and I repeat this a lot because people are not aware of this. I have to say it over and over again. Moses was taught in all the wisdom of the Egyptians and it was mighty in words and deeds. Again, we did not call ourselves Egyptian at that time. We represent the pre-Egyptian phase of the Nile Valley culture. What do I mean by that? <coughs> the word Egypt comes from the Greek word Aigupotus, because they could not pronounce the name of a town that they came in to uh, in the delta, Het Ptah Ka, or House of the Soul of Ptah, was the name of the town. Um, and so they call it Aigupotus, and later Aigupotus became shortened to Egypt. You can go up and down that river, examine every single temple, every piece of papyrus that they have in the museums, and you will never find the word Egypt written by the indigenous people of that culture. So when people say, are you Egyptian? I said, we Egypt no one. We are the originators of this ancient culture. So it's um, you have to be able to defend your this legacy and that's why in Communist 101 you would get um, a lot of history you have to read a lot of different uh, works and uh, it's not easy to put this together again because we are no longer near the river that guided the whole culture um, we have been taught in the religions not to even look up at the heavens because it's it's a sin to deal with the stars and the, and the planets and all of that and astronomy and astrology it's a sin to do these things well the most high put the sun and the moon and all the planets there for a reason and the 12 mansions of the zodiac which is represented as the 12 tribes of Israel you see uh, this was all part of our culture uh, the temples were built and oriented, the foundations of temples were oriented to certain stars in order to invite the biocosmic energy of these stars to the earth plane. You see, a lot of these temples had floors that was made of quartzite material, which everyone knows has a lot of, a lot of um, spiritual power. So you have to be aware of some of this history because they're going to come at you. Our brothers and sisters in the Hebrew Israelite community are going to come at you. Oh, you're Egyptian, huh? Um, in the Christian faith, likewise, they're going to um, write, likewise say that, oh, you are pagan and you're heathen. Um, in the Islamic system, the same thing. Yet, all these major prophets of all of these religions came into the Nile Valley. And I've said this before on your on your couch, Sanetta. And why is that so hard for them to get that? Why is that so hard, brother? Because, first of all, they came um, misunderstanding the culture of the Nile. Don't forget, this civilization existed for thousands of years before any of the northerners came. They could not even enter into the precincts of the northern flank of our um, queen kingdom. Why? because the Meje, who were the guardians of the northern flank under the guide of the, um, the Netert, or the divine principle known as Niet, with her bows and arrows, of which the Nubian were the bowmen, who guarded the northern flank of the kingdom, and they were not allowed to come in there. As a matter of fact, those who we allowed to come in, they had to wash their feet at the borders. They couldn't even walk on the soil because of their lifestyle. They had to come clean to enter into, into that land. So, 
the, this this culture is something that is you cannot mix a lot of the mess that we see people are trying to mix make it Kemet Street. It cannot be made Kemet Street. <laughs> you know, uh, what is it's here to help clean up the street. That's right. That's yes to establish my art. Now you and, and, and let me ask you real yes. quick. I'm sorry to cut you no, off. No, no, no. And that's what I always say. You know, they want to talk about their Islam. Oh, Islam is peace. It just means peace. So I say, brother, my aunt, we had seven principles and much, much more. Truth, justice, righteousness, reciprocity, balance, harmony, and order. So when you say Islam, we didn't have to wait to Islam. We had that. We had balance. We had um, reciprocity. We was dealing with all of that. So in many other cultures and religion, I see that they keep their woman behind and they don't want their woman to speak out. They say the woman can't teach me nothing. I'm the king. We the one that speak. All she could do is just stay her butt in the kitchen. How was the woman, the female of our ancestors treated in ancient Kemet in antiquity? Well, sir, what we, we understand that a spiritual system, a spiritual system that's transmitted through a certain culture will bring with it the habits of that culture. <coughs> to the north, in the northern regions, there were patriarchs, which means a man ruled. And part of the reason was, uh, around that historical time, during the age of Taurus, the age of, of Aries, Taurus is a bull, Aries is, a, is a, a ram, we sought to mirror what was in the heavens on the earth plane. So the whole concept of the patriarchal did touch Kemet. However, we still maintained in the realm of things divine that sacred balance. Whenever you had a female principle, you had a male principle side by side with that female principle. I'll give you an example. If there was Ast, there's Asar, the male. If there was Amenra, the male, there was Mut, the female, from which is the root of the word mother. If there was Ptah, who was the great architect, there was Sekhmet, the healer. So you see, everything was balanced because we lived in a maatical culture. Um, people speak of the matriarchy, ma woman rule, and there was a time when that happened. They speak about patriarchy, male rule. Well, basically, committed culture was maatiarchal, balanced rule. People must remember when you look at the glyphs of the name of Ast and Asar, the first two earthborn principles, you would see that Ast has a throne in her name. As a matter of fact, her name means throne. And a breast, some say a loaf, alongside that throne, because she is the one who sustains, who nurtures with the breast or with food. You see? And Asar, likewise, he has a throne and an eye. The I means to do, to make, or to create. Ar is the is the the word for creation, for to create. So therefore, he's the th he's the um, the throne maker. How does he make the throne? Because as a child, the child sits on the mother's lap to get her or his nourishment. So the throne became the basic principle by which these two. This couple, Aston Asar, guided their lives. And I tell couples, when I do um, consultations with them before marriage, I said, remember, man, you're not ruling. Woman, you're not ruling. You're both ruling the household. You, <laughs> you are both... You both have thrones. You are the, you got the throne of the king and the throne of the queen. It's divinity to divinity in the household. That is what has been missing. Why? Because we have embraced cultures that have pushed on us a totally patriarchal system. We do not treat our women the way we should because we do not see her in things divine. We pray to God who is always he, 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 him, 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 never she. And if it takes a woman and a man to come together to be one on earth, and you tell me that as above, so below, then how is it that above there's only a male deity with a whole bunch of male angels and little boy cherubs? 
That is a child molester's heaven. And we see it playing out on the earth plane. Yes. Okay? So, again, we have to restore. Uh, we have to restore ourselves to our original way of thinking, become more maatical, and uh, give the patriarchy a rest. As a matter of fact, whether they like it or not,